Hello, this is R-I-C-K-Y, the YouTube tech guy. Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Mobile Weekly slash Mobile Q&A. We go over all the latest news that happens during the week of mobile and answer your questions live. A couple updates I want to go over before we go over the weekly news, and that is, one, we will be having a Mobile Weekly next week, but then we are going to be missing two weeks in a row. The reason is because I am going on upcoming family vacation. Now, the good news is, is I recorded about six videos yesterday and I'm recording more through the next week so that I will have content coming up at all times. Also, I'm gonna be doing some fun stuff over there. Uh, gonna be doing some vlogging, so we're gonna have like a, I think one, I'm gonna call it vlog week, but maybe it might be like three days out of five that I'll do like a vlog style and kind of go over where I'm at and shoot with different uh, things. We are going to be getting the Mate 20 Pro as well. So did just order that, paid a thousand dollars towards it. So any super chat today goes towards that. Uh, but uh, we are getting that. We also finally got sent the LG V40 from LG. So I'm really happy about getting that sent. And of course, tomorrow we're gonna be getting, uh, probably, or at least pre-ordering the uh, OnePlus 6T. So that'll be another device we're gonna be getting in the upcoming weeks. So uh, that will not be here before I probably leave though, unless it's coming out this Friday, I will not probably get it for a few weeks. So just letting you know why, uh, I won't be coming back till the 18th of November. So yeah, all that kind of craziness before the Black Friday sales kick off and I go over the best deals for you guys. All right, now that, that we're got all that out of the way, let's get to the mobile weekly news. First off, we are going to go over the Galaxy S10. I feel like we're doing an article on this every single week now at this point, and it's just gonna keep going until we go. So, let's get to it. First big news is something that I have said for a long time, and that is that the Galaxy S10 will not have the same things as the Note 9. Now, the re big reason what that I've said that since the beginning, I'm like, guys, it's not gonna have the same storage, it's not gonna have the same battery, at least not on the regular model. Maybe the Plus version might, but the regular model won't. And it looks like the smallest version of the S10 will be coming in at 64 gigs. Now, this has been since updated to say that they will also be offering a 128 gig of storage as well, that has been confirmed, but it looks like it will at least be 64 and 128, possibly 256 later, but as right now, it's really that one for right now. So yeah, there that's where we're going with this. Uh, dilly dally, here's to the <laughs> vodka. Uh, thank you, uh, M uh, MFX, I really appreciate that. Uh, $5 super chat, thank you very much. Um, so yeah, so that is the first thing that we're getting with the S10 news about it is that the storage size will start at 64 gigs. Again, you're still getting expandable memory. You're still getting all that kind of stuff. So I wouldn't reach too much into it, but that's just one thing you have to get, know about starting off. All right, then Samsung is actually hinting. I said I, I would be the first to admit if I end up being wrong, and I'm gonna be on vacation <laughs> during this time. So it's gonna be really interesting if I'm like, you know, catching up, because I'm still gonna catch up on all the tech news. I do not stop consuming tech news, it's the way I am. Uh, it's why I'm always on top of everything, I try to be. And the, one of the big reasons is, is this, while well, my vacation might be announced, and if it is, I will be shocked. So, Samsung is having their developer conference next week, as we've known. But here's the real interesting thing, that they did this video, and it looks like a bendable thing right in the middle right there. So because of that, everyone is like, wait a minute, are they hinting at the bendable display? So that is really important to this. Uh, a developer conference normally doesn't have, you know, product announcements always, but that is, you know, the whole thing. So I'll have to wait and see how that goes, but yeah. Uh, Leon K, $20, thank you for the super chat. Always miss your live chat. I'm on the East Coast, but download it later weekly. You're awesome. Thank you, Leon. I appreciate that so much. And again, it's going straight to the uh, May 20 Pro. So thank you for so much for the donation. Really appreciate it. Uh, but yeah, so I'm very curious. If this bendable phone is shown off, it will. if it's announced, it will not go on sale, keep in mind. But it would be very interesting for it to be announced here before the S10 
and it won't go on sale till after the S10. I think that would be a very strange thing to do, but Samsung has done strange things in the past, so we'll have to wait and see how it goes. Uh, overall, I just do not know uh, how it's going to go, but it's really interesting, very interesting. Let's just say that. All right, and then we have more news on the Galaxy F, that is the foldable phone's code name right now, uh, and that later it could be joined. This is a uh, device that's going to be a phone that goes expands to seven inches. However, there is talks of a tablet version coming up later if the original Galaxy F is successful, meaning that we could have one that opens up into a 10 inch display, which that would be great. Like, I mean, if I have one device in my pocket that fits in my pocket, that when closed is maybe like six inches, 6.5, which is the size of this phone, and opens up, into a 10 inch device i will be very happy i will be very happy I just uh that would be great uh we'll have to wait and see how it turns out but this is really interesting and although you know it's expected to be 10 inch display if you really think about it the galaxy f is supposed to be 4 to 4.5 when closed and when it opens up it's 7 so there is room to even be bigger we'll have to wait and see uh, but yeah, really curious about that. I would be very curious about a tablet version that, of this uh, device uh, instead of a phablet version. Very curious for that. The Xiaomi Mi Mix 3 was announced. It's the first phone with really, uh, again, 10 gigs of RAM. 5G version is going to be available. And really, the big thing about it is a 93% screen to body ratio. It is basically all screen on the front and you slide it up manually, not motorized like the other ones. You slide it up and then you get the ability to have the cameras and face unlock available to you. Overall, it has what you expect from a flagship, but the real big thing I would say is definitely going to be those hidden cameras. I really think this is a good looking phone. It has large sensors. It has an f1.8 aperture, so not the best there. I really would want an f1.7 nowadays. But overall, that screen to body ratio is really big. I will get in touch with Xiaomi when we go to CES in January and see if we can get this phone. Um, we were on the list for the original Mi Mix, I remember. Uh, that was a while ago. But we were on that list. Uh, the problem with that was that it did not work in the US. The Mi Mix uh, 2S did, and uh, I, I didn't have their contact information, so now we're gonna get with the whole uh, Xiaomi team on the Mi Mix 3 once we get there at CES and talk with them. All right, speaking of Bezelis, there is a recent leak, uh, and this is render, so this is not official, uh, but this is renders of what people are believing that based on the leak of the Galaxy 8, uh, A8S, this is what it looks like basically it will have a small cutout for the camera and that's about it all these sensors are underneath except for the camera so this is really interesting i think it's ingenious for samsung to honestly do this first on a non-flagship smartphone because if this works and you test it and it works fine and any bugs or issues happens on this phone doesn't matter as much because it's not your main phone so you can kind of troubleshoot with this phone and then hit it hard with the S10 um, or later even the Note 10 if need be. Uh, so that is really what I like about the idea about this phone. And I really think it's interesting if they do this. Again, this will actually be a mid-ranger. And I like this. You know, you saw five cameras on the uh, A7 uh, something. I forget what it's called uh, for Samsung. And then now you're in the A8 uh, with a under like you're getting higher quality parts and products in mid-range devices which is what samsung needs if they really want to keep growing in china and other regions that sell the a series all right it also was officially announced that the officially 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 the huawei mate 20 pro 
will not be sold in the US directly. Now you can do what I did personally, and that is you can go to places like eBay, I think it's unlock-phones.com, and places like that, and you can order the international version. Now I can tell you that I already checked, and it does look like it works with all LTE bands for T-Mobile and AT&T, so if you are with a GSM uh, carrier in the US, you can get it and it should work fine. Um, now, some of these, depending on where you get it, might not come with the Google Play Store. So that means you have to download Google Play Services, Google Play Store, and I think those are the only two. And then everything else you should be able to download from there. Uh, maybe the web uh, view thing. Uh, but yeah, overall, once you get those services, you can really uh, use it to... Uh, your heart's content and then of course put Nova launcher on there because although I love Huawei I will get rid of that skin so quick uh, So yeah, uh, overall, I am really excited to play with this phone and excited to show you guys the color I got um, Other big news happened this week and I thought it was only a matter of time I was hoping it was a matter of time for Google to do this and luckily it has happened Google did what Apple did last year. Keep in mind, it took them a year to do it. Uh, but they did now are giving you basically, uh, instead of paying an SD price and an HD price separately and then charging like 10 bucks more for a 4K price, now the 4K price will be basically about $20, which was what the HD price was beforehand. And to show their good faith, they did what Apple did and they've upgraded everyone who had select uh, HD um, HD versions of the uh, movies all the way up to 4K for free. That is awesome. And I think it's just about time too. I mean, come on. Nowadays, it doesn't really take that much more to produce, to give us a 4K content movie instead of a 1080p content movie. So I really love the idea that we are getting 4K videos for a cheaper price because yes, I want to watch the best quality, but I don't want to spend 30 bucks on a movie. I mean, I better get a, like a collector's edition for like something like 40 bucks maybe, but I'm not gonna spend 30 bucks on a movie. It's just like, it's not worth it. Uh, but the fact that they're now having it for $20 is a lot more digestible for me. So I, I can see myself getting 4K versions of movies a lot more often. And I like that because I have a 4K TV and I want to see it in 4K if possible. All right. And we also got uh, heard that uh, the Galaxy Watch might currently be banned in Japan. Yes, in Japan. Uh, so basically this has been filed, or Japan and Korea, I believe, I think was the two places. Uh, but basically this watchmaker Orient uh, wants the Galaxy Watch to ban sales. Why? Because they trademarked the name Galaxy when it comes to watches. And that is very interesting, of course, because, I mean, you think, it's like uh, the company, if you didn't know, there is a company that makes a product called iWatch. And that's why it's called the Apple Watch instead of the iWatch because someone owns that version of a watch already and owns that name. Uh, so this is basically what Apple went through. They just changed it. They're like, we're not gonna pay you money. We're not gonna buy you out. We're just gonna call it the Apple Watch and everyone will still call it the iWatch no matter what you call it. Anyway, because they associate i with Apple. Uh, so uh, same thing happened with here, even though yes, they are claiming that Galaxy smartwatch and tr um, infringes on their trademark it really is a case of just like you know people when they think of galaxy watch they would have immediately thought of samsung anyway now this won't affect other regions of the world at least not yet but it's interesting to see how far this goes and if samsung you know if they'll just throw it out we'll have to wait and see uh but samsung might at least have to pay a fine it looks at this point so yeah and now we're going on to the last bit of news, which is a early leak of the iPad and what it seems it will look like. So this is what the iPad looks to look like uh, for the event coming up on Tuesday. And overall, it's an iPad Pro. It's gonna be the main thing that's going to be announced and talked about at this event. And it will have Face ID, we know this, uh, but it's, it's pretty what we expect. Basically narrowed down bezels. It's interesting to see if it's gonna still stay at a four by three ratio or if it'll move. So I'm very curious to see that, you know, Apple has always had their iPads at four by three ratio. So I'd be very curious to see if they move away from that going forward. 
because I think it would be better, but we'll have to wait and see. All right, guys, that was all the news for this week. Now we'll get to your questions. If you have a question you want to ask, just ask it in the comment section down below, and I will answer it before the end of the show. Thank you again to MFX and Leon K for the Super Chats. I really do appreciate it. Trust me, it goes a long way, and I really appreciate the help. All right. Let's get to your questions. Uh, De uh, Drayton asks, Ricky, how has your week been? It's been pretty good. Just very busy day yesterday. And yeah, just I haven't been nonstop. I, I feel like when you're about to go on a vacation, your work amplifies because you have so much work to get done before it. And I mean, you know, I have Halloween coming up. My daughter's birthday is on Saturday. And then the trip, uh, we're leaving Monday night. So it's just, it's so much going on right now. But overall, I just, getting everything ready, getting all together, that's my uh, concern right now. So I think I'll be a lot more relaxed in uh, coming a week from tomorrow. <laughs> um, what's up, Ricky? Your hair. I know, right? It's like growing. It's it's still growing. It just it keeps growing. Um <laughs> Uh, sure think this channel is promising. Thank you, Don. I appreciate it. And, uh, welcome if you're a new subscriber. Uh, what's up, Riggy? Uh, letting your hair grow, huh? Yeah, I am letting my hair grow. Uh, I, for those of you who missed it a couple weeks ago, I said on the live chat when people first started commenting on my hair that I am growing my hair out. My, uh, wife and me talked about it and she liked the look of Steve Jobs, uh, Steve Jobs. No, um, uh, Steve Rogers, Captain America in the, in the, um, Infinity War. So if you know his hair there, you know, thicker beard, uh, slick back hair. So I don't think I'm going to reach that haircut till probably March. I mean, it, it, my hair is growing, but it, it's not at the point where it can slick back yet. So I think it's not going to be till March. Uh, but yeah, still trying to keep it clean on the side and everything like that. And yeah, trying as much as I can, but we'll see. I haven't been to a barber yet. I'm just kind of been trimming it myself and trimming the back. Uh, so we'll have to wait and see how crazy it gets. It's going to be interesting because you guys won't see like new videos of me for a week or so. So I wonder how much it'll grow by then. Um, should I skip the S10 and wait for the Galaxy F? I think the Galaxy F is going to be the most innovative phone of 2019. I think it's going to really show us things that we haven't seen before in a phone. And whether that catches on or not, we'll have to wait and see. But I do think that the Galaxy F is, will be the most innovative phone of the next year. Um, is the Mate 20 Pro the best smartphone of 2018? I can't wait to tell you. And I think because I'm taking this Mate 20 Pro, like I made sure it would be delivered this week, which I had to pay more money for. But uh, the whole point is that I'm going to get it before I leave on this trip. And that phone is one of the perfect phones to take on this trip with me. It will most likely be my secondary daily driver. Basically on this trip, I think I'm going to have four main phones. And that is the uh, Pixel 3 uh, with the Moment lens. I'm going to have the Huawei Mate 20 Pro. I'm going to have the LG V40. And of course, my Note 9 is my main daily driver. So uh, I'm going to rotate the other three all the way around. But I'm going to really try to see the best kind of photos uh, qualities I can get uh, that week. I wish I had the OnePlus 6T as well to really test out. But it doesn't look like that's going to come out. Unless it comes out within a week, uh, it looks like I will miss that phone. Um, is all the Note 9s getting the camera update or unlocked only? All the Notes will eventually get the camera update, although, as you can imagine, I've been waiting for that camera update so much. Um, I can tell you the uh, camera comparisons are coming uh, this week. I have shot the photos now, so now I just need to put them on the computer, record the videos side by side. Um, that I'm going to be recording this week, so it might not come up till next week or the weekend. Uh, but for those videos, that I can tell you that, again, that is before the Pixel gets the night shot and the uh, Note 9 gets the upgrade. So because of that, it will get better later. Um, well, I always said, uh, so far, no smartphone camera can beat the P20 camera. What is your opinion? My opinion is that I unfortunately never got to test out the P20 camera. However, since the Mate 20 Pro is the P20 camera with a different, uh, it's, it's a wide angle instead of the, um, the black and white, the monochrome, and the other two cameras are better through software, 
I will get to find out which one really is the best. I'm gonna have the Note 9 and the Mate 20 Pro at some really cool places on my trip. So I will really get to test out which one's the best. Um, Ricky, can you explain why phones are getting more expensive and, and will they get more expensive when this, uh, what is this down to? So why are phones getting more expensive and will they keep getting more expensive? As long as people keep buying them, they will get more expensive. Yes, like it's just, it's that simple. If we keep buying out phones and even if, if a manufacturer like Apple makes, you know, a hundred thousand less sales in the US in a quarter compared to year over year, but they made more money because they're charging 50 to $100 more per phone. Guess what? They're, 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 they're gonna keep making the phones more expensive. Uh, why are they getting more expensive? It's just profit margins. It, it's all about profit margins. They want, manufacturers wanna make more money and as cost goes up to make a smartphone, like everyone's buying OLEDs from Samsung and Samsung is charging more money for those OLEDs. Because guess what? If they're selling less phones on this side, they're gonna still be profitable, so they have to make more money on this division. So basically, if they're making less money off their smartphones, they're gonna be making more money off other people's smartphones. So at the end of the day, they're gonna make a profit, even if they're not selling as many phones. So because of that, uh, higher cost is going towards processors. Now that we have seven nanometer processors, those are more expensive to make because you have a higher fail rate of making them. So because of those kind of things, because manufacturers are paying more to make things and uh, are having to pay more for higher quality technology, they are going to charge more. Now, the big thing about that is, is that at the same time, they're trying to make up for the fact that most people now are not buying their phone every year anymore. The trend is definitely going to people buying their phone every two years now. Uh, for instance, um, I was talking to my wife today and it doesn't look like she's going to get the Note 9. It, it, it you know, she has uh, not as much interest in getting it uh, because her phone works fine. She has no issues with her phone. With all the updates, everything that's happened with the Note 8, she's had no issues with it. It works fine. So why would she spend a thousand dollars or I would buy it for her, but why would she, you know, buy a new phone if nothing's wrong with her current phone? Same with my brother, my mom. Both of them got the Note 8 with me. We all got the Note 8 at the same time. But when I got the Note 9, they were like, no, we don't need to get it right now. I'm like, hey, Samsung has a really good trading program for your Note 8, do you want to upgrade to it? No, don't really need to get it right now. Now, obviously that doesn't represent everyone, but these, they upgraded every year, just like me before. Now I upgraded and they didn't. So that is a big thing of like, yeah, you're seeing that more and more happen now. So if manufacturers see that, what they're gonna do is they're gonna make more money off of the people that are doing it every year, or that when people do do it every two years, they're gonna make up the money that way too. So yeah, that's why they're charging more and will it get more expensive? Um, to a certain extent, yes. Uh, you're gonna see you're gonna see Samsung's Galaxy F next year, and that will most likely be a thousand five hundred. I, I, I almost positive it will be at least 1,500. If not a little bit more, it might be 1,599. I could definitely see that happening. Will that be overpriced? I think it's gonna be really interesting. Uh, I would pay for it and I would see why it would cost that much because of true innovation. We'll have to see if it's worth it to that many people though. Damn it, Ricky, my Sundays just started feeling like Sundays again. Haha, <laughs> have fun, bud, you deserve it. Thank you, Denard, I uh, really appreciate it. Uh, whoa, a whole bunch of questions just loaded. Everyone drink. Um, where was I? Oh, I'm hearing a Samsung foldable tablet. So yeah, there is going to be a Samsung foldable tablet. That's the news we went over this morning. If the Galaxy F smartphone does well, there will be a tablet version of it later. Although I, I dread to think now that I've been talking about it, how much will that cost? Is that gonna be like $2,000? Why will I buy it? I don't know the answer to these questions. 
Bloomberg basically confirmed that the S10 will have a full screen uh, under the sensor camera. Uh, yeah, they, they uh, we talked about it that actually last uh, Sunday uh, on their art on their article and everything. Um, overall, it does look like the S10 will have that kind of display. I am very excited about it, um, and I think that will help have the S10 be a big deal. The whole point about the iPhone 10, yes, it was different, but it introduced a notch, so it wasn't like wow it was like man that has a much better display and i'm gonna buy it because i'm an apple user uh but if the s10 and i think we can all agree for the most part or let me know if you don't agree with this i think the android crowd is harder to wow factor because we have so many more options compared to an ios crowd right if you're talking to a person that mainly deals with ios phones you're, you're kind of easier to wow because what are you going to get? You're going to get this iPhone, this iPhone, or this iPhone. Whereas if you're an Android user and Samsung doesn't wow me, well, maybe Huawei might wow me. Maybe OnePlus might wow me. Maybe Google might wow me. Maybe LG might wow me. So there's other opportunities a lot more present in comparison. Um, if you're open to both, then that's even more uh, reason to. So yeah, that's the really big thing that I think the S10 really needs to bring it to get that wow factor back because we do miss that wow factor, I think, right now in smartphones. Um, bend it like Samsung. Uh, have you heard Samsung is now being accused of slowing down phones just like Apple is doing? Uh, yeah, they were basically sued by the same country, which escapes me. I think it's a European country. I'm not positive on that. Uh, which country is suing both Apple and Samsung for accusing them of slowing down their phones at a later period. However, Samsung was never like officially found out that they did that. So it's interesting that they're accusing them as well. But we'll have to wait and see how that turns out. Because again, it's it's not... It's not like, you know, they haven't been confirmed, but it's just that someone's suing both of them. So you assume they have proof. Uh, you mean the Note 4 that couldn't run Android 6.0? Uh, I'm not sure which Android 4, Android 4 that couldn't run 6.0. Are you alluding to the, like the Note Edge that I mentioned something earlier Then you're talking about like the Note Edge that didn't get as many updates? I'm not sure. Uh, S Pen in F phone? No, the S Pen will not be in the Galaxy F device. No place to really fit it, it seems like. Uh, I'm glad to see you on Sunday. I'm glad to be back on Sundays. It's really been fun. Hold on one second. I think I have to remove someone here. And let me see if they keep spamming. No. Okay. Sorry about that. All right. Um, what's happening? Just joined your channel and subscribe. Hey, uh, Jamie, or is it hi, man? Uh, hey, uh, thank you for subscribing. I really appreciate it. Uh, yeah, we just talk about and answer any of your questions. So if you have any question you want to ask right now and you're a new subscriber, ask it in the comment section and I'll get to it before the end of the show. Um, do you think there will be a time where people stop buying movies, music, stream them instead? Do you see that in the near future? It's interesting because I don't, I don't believe actually that the stream replaces everything. Uh, what do I mean by that? I mean, I still rather buy certain things and stream them. Say for instance, right? Uh, CBS has a show called Star Trek Discovery. I don't want to do CBS All Access. I don't see that they have enough content to make me ever. I don't like most of their shows. But say I have heard great things about Star Trek Discovery. What should I do? My personal opinion is I would buy that season when it would be available to digitally buy. Because even Game of Thrones that you get free on HBO, you can buy it still. So no, I think there will always be that option uh, personally. Um, I do think that it also hurts some industries, of course, because, you know, the movie theater industry could go away effectively at some point. 
Um, and I mean by movie theaters as in like AMC, Cinemark, all, all those uh, landmark, all, all those places you go to the movies to watch them, not the movie industry as a whole. But it really is a thing where like, yeah, I mean, I love the, I, I do, I do, I will say I love the idea of there was an idea a little while ago and they're still trying to get it to work. I uh, mean, enough studios to buy into it that a box that you can buy. So you pay the full price of the box. And then what you do is when a movie comes out, say the new Avengers movie comes out, you might have to pay something like 50 bucks, but you watch it on your TV, same day as launch day. Now I'm curious of you guys in the audience right now, if any of you are movie watchers, would that be worth it for you? Because think about it this way, you invite five friends over or, or even four friends over, whatever. You invite four friends over, each of you chips in 10 bucks. Well, now you've all paid 10 bucks. So it's 10 bucks, which in LA, my average movie ticket price is 15 and 20. So yeah, it's gonna be a lot cheaper and I get to see it with people that I know will shut up. Um, I get to eat whatever food I want. You know, it, it's, it's, there is advantages to technology going that route. I, for one, I will say, like, I usually go with a group of five to 10 friends to those big movies for Infinity War, all the Marvel movies, basically, some Star Wars movies, some big time movies like Jurassic World and stuff like that. I usually go with a, a, a nice sized group and yeah, if we're paying 20 bucks a pop or if I'm, you know, a dad and I want to uh, and show, you know, my little girl a PG movie or PG-13 movie and that's me, my little girl and my wife, well, you know, 20 bucks a pop or maybe a little bit less because the kids discount, that would have been 60 bucks, 50 bucks for a movie doesn't sound that bad then, right? Especially when I'm, again, I can buy whatever food I want. <laughs> uh, so yeah, that's, that's a big difference, I will say. Um, yeah, you would have to have, you know, a really good TV at home. You'd have to have a really good sound quality at home to try to recreate that experience. But services like that are coming and it all depends on what is available thereafter. That's why I personally, I have an AMC nearby me that's really great quality. So I love to go there and I pay a subscription fee of 20 bucks a month uh, to see three movies a week. Uh, so I can see a lot of movies if I want to and that makes it worth it for me. So again, it, I see subscription services, if they're done right, they can replace an industry instead of buying a product. But I think it's all depends on the execution. And I think we've seen a lot on both sides of it working well and working not well. Disney's uh, streaming service, by the way, if you can buy stock in Disney, buy stock in Disney right now. Uh, but Disney's streaming service is going to be huge next year and it will take on Netflix in a very serious way. You're going to have Disney, Marvel, and Star Wars all in one service, and that's going to be big. Not to mention they're going to own Fox too, so they're going to have all Fox movies on there too. So yeah, it's, it's going to be a big service, um, and it will rival Netflix right away. Um, to avoid watch issues, Samsung, uh, Samsung watch fix. Yeah, Samsung, instead of calling it the Galaxy watch, Samsung could just change the name to Samsung watch. Definitely a possibility. Uh, just got the Note 9, need to know uh, what to get live in Canada. What to get live in Canada? I'm not sure what you mean. Can you rephrase your question? What do you mean by get live in Canada? Uh, to activate it in Canada? Is it an unlocked version? Do you need to unlock it? I'm not sure. Um, Let's see. How good is the LG V40 compared to the S9 Plus? I've only had a bit of time with the V40, although the wide angle camera is even better than I remember. Um, and the telephoto is pretty good as well. I like the triple shot. I, I know other people were having issues with it with pre-done software, but so far that triple camera shot is actually not bad. So gotta look more into it, but interesting. I, I, it will help during the trip, definitely. Um, what is the best ratio for a tablet iPad? I'm a fan of 16 by nine or 18 by nine or um, 18 by nine or even 16 by 10. 
I like that aspect ratio a lot better than 4x3. 4x3 to me just does not fit a tablet. Why? Because I want a laptop aspect ratio. I want a TV aspect ratio. I want to be able to see my movies in full screen. And when I do a split screen, I want it to be bigger than 4x3 allows it to be. So for me, the ideal aspect ratio for a tablet is 16x9, 16x10, or even, we've never had this yet, but 18x9. Um, can you make a video on the Note 9 8 gigs RAM versus the Note 9, uh, Note 9 6 gigs RAM? I no longer have the Note 9 6 gigs RAM uh, ver variant, uh, but the Note 8, you can see the benchmark comparison because I do have that on the channel, the benchmark comparison between the 6 gigs RAM version and the 8 gigs RAM version. The battery life was basically the same, so there's no difference there. It really is just the speed performance and the fact that you have so much more internal storage that if you watched our hidden feature video on the Note uh, 9 with 8 gigs of RAM 512 storage, you'll see that it actually is faster besides more than just the RAM. Um, and screen protector. Screen protector for the Note 9, watch our video, Whitestone Dome Glass. Best screen protector, I still have it. It looks in perfect condition. This screen protector, I always get asked questions about because it is by far the best to me, by far. Like, not even close anything comes to this. So, screen protector is really awesome. Definitely recommend it. Um, let's see. When Disney comes out with the streaming service, will uh, they take Daredevil and Punisher to Netflix? That is an interesting question. Um, basically, this is what the deal is. Netflix owns the right to those. So they have to let it go. Like Luke Cage and like Iron Fist. They have to let the streaming service go in order to keep it. Uh, so they either have to renew a new season or reject a new season. That's what basically they have to do. Basically, if Disney wants to make a season four of Daredevil, no spoilers, by the way, I haven't seen season three. I know I'm back, uh, backed up. Um, if, if Disney wants to make a season four of Daredevil, they have to give the option for Netflix to get it first. Um, and if Netflix rejects it, then they can put it on their own streaming service. But that is something that they have to work out. Disney cannot just decide to move it. Um, what do you think of the Blue Vivo XL Plus? Or have you had a chance to check it out? No. Let me look up this device right now and see what it's all about. Uh, so this is... How much? Okay, so let's see what this phone has. Six inch, uh, 1080p display, 18 by nine aspect ratio. Um, 450 nits, decent brightness. Curved glass, 16 megapixel selfie. What processor does it have? Snapdragon 425 is a bit outdated for today's age. I will say that. 32 gigs of storage. Fingerprint scanner on the back. 3000 milliamp decent, but there are better ones. I'm currently reviewing a gaming phone, which 5,000. Um, yeah, it, it's okay. Uh, I mean, for 150 bucks, not bad. Uh, but I think if you upgrade uh, to the, uh, where is it? I think I still have it. No. Yeah. The Honor 8X uh, for, I think it's, around 250 when it comes to the US. This will be a much better purchase. It's $100 more, but you're gonna get a lot more phone. Um, let's see. SA2, S10 Plus, think it will be uh, my upgrade. Yeah, I think, I think that will be a really big upgrade. Boston just won. Well, so long, Dodgers. I'm in LA, so. <laughs> uh, whoa, a whole bunch of questions just loaded. Everyone drink. Um, how good is the LG V40? Haven't had too much of a chance to, I literally taken my first photos with it today. So, um, we'll have to wait and see. Apple's fault that phones are getting more expensive. I will agree with that. Yes. Apple's the one that started the trend. 
I have an iPhone 7 Plus. Uh, should I get the XR or wait to the S10? I would definitely not get the XR from a 7 Plus. I, I just, or 7 Plus, not 7S. Or wait, no, there wasn't a 7S, right? There was the 8. Yeah. Um, hmm. That is really, that actually is an upgrade. That actually is an upgrade. Um, it's okay. I, I would say you would get more out of the S10 or waiting for the next year XR2 or something like that. But um, I don't know how much you would see an upgrade wise from that to that. I think, I think it would be worth it more to get the S10 or some other phone next year than to get the XR this year. That's just my opinion. It is an upgrade because you are jumping about two years worth. So it's not a bad upgrade, but yeah. Um, yesterday I got a software update for my S8 and now I have 450, 480 FPS, 720, and I'm happy with it. Nice. I'm glad you got the update. That's really good. Uh, that's really good quality for slow motion. Hey, did you update your wife on the Note 8 yet? Still on the fence. Uh, no. So I said earlier, um, she doesn't want to upgrade to the Note 8, uh, uh from the Note 8 now. Uh, she will probably wait for the S10 or uh, the year after, uh, or not the year after, or the S or the Note 10. But yeah, she's not upgrading to the Note 9. What are your options uh, on? Oh, what are your? Yeah, you said what are your options on graphene batteries? Uh, my opinion on graphene batteries are they're definitely great, but they're a lot more expensive right now to make and produce. So until the those prices come down, I don't think we're gonna see a mass production of it on smartphones. When those prices come down though, it will be uh, quite impressive. Um, let's see. Yeah, every uh, two years seems good. I'm still on the Note 8 waiting for something better. Exactly. Uh, iPhone XR not selling well, I'm hearing. I'm hearing mixed bag. Uh, I'm hearing that it sells, that it sold better than the XS, but not better than the XS Plus is where I've heard so far but we'll have to wait and see through at least a week uh, on how it's doing. Um, but yeah, no lines for sure. Um, 3XL, wow, you shocked me with the 3XL return video. I figured you'd hold out for software updates, then go from there. I'm undecided, probably getting the uh, 3XL, but I'm probably getting 3XL soon. So here's the thing, keep in mind that, you know, I am a YouTuber, so a lot of people were like, why are you getting the Pixel 3 if, you know, why are you getting the Pixel 3 if, uh, you know, the 3XL, which I still have, I'm returning it tomorrow, uh, right here. Um, so, you know, why are you getting the Pixel 3 when the Pixel 3 XL, you're gonna have almost all the same issues on the Pixel 3? Well, the answer is simple. I'm a YouTuber. I need to have a Pixel. I need to have a Pixel smartphone to compare things to. So that when the S10 comes out, I can do a camera comparison between the Pixel 3 and the S10. I need to have a Pixel. Um, and like I'm doing the battery life review. I already recorded the video, but it's not that good. I mean, two hours better than the Pixel 3. So yeah, it, it's... it's um, it's really a whole thing where it's like, I am I can tell you right now, the Pixel 3 XL will not be the best smartphone of 2018. It just can't. You can't do two hours less than the OnePlus 6 and then the Note 9 and be considered better. Your camera's not that good. <laughs> like, uh, that's my main thing about it. Uh, overall, I think the OnePlus 6T will be an overall better phone, most likely, than the Pixel 3 XL by the end of the year. I think the Pixel 3 will have a better camera but the OnePlus will beat it in every other way. Uh, I know they're gonna upgrade it, uh, they're gonna update the RAM issue because man, that is an issue. It crashes way more than any other Android flagship by far. And this is stock Android, the best Android. Yeah, right, please. Uh, if, if you still believe in that, then you're listening to too many other YouTubers uh, because stock Android is not the best. Near stock is better than stock. Uh, so yeah, it's just, it, it, it really, it really was a bad experience. I will say that I've had issues with the phone and my whole point is if Google's so great with updates, why hasn't it been fixed yet? It's been over a week, it's been over two weeks. Why hasn't this been fixed yet? 
That's my that's my whole thing. Is like this should have been fixed if they're so great with updates. Um, so yeah, it's just it's too many issues. And overall, I I will have a Pixel Three, but the Pixel Three XL just yeah, it's not worth it for me. Um. Love the knowledge you throw down. I learned a lot from your live streams. Keep up the great work. Do you think the Galaxy F will be a foldable phone you saw earlier this year? No. Everything that I've seen on the Galaxy F recently is not what I saw behind closed doors. So no, I don't think so. Uh, what is your daily driver? My current daily driver is the Note 9 and the Pixel 3 XL, which I'm going to change to the Pixel 3 for one week. Then I'm going to move to the Mate 20, no, move to the LG V40 and then move to the Mate 20 Pro. So I'm going to be going through three weeks of different phones. Uh, so yeah, that, those are my current daily drivers. S10, no headphone jack. True. Uh, everything I've heard is no, that, it, that that is not true or at least not confirmed yet. Uh, to be fair though, Samsung, as I, as I said last week, Samsung right now has about three different options for the S10 design. One of them does not include a headphone jack. One of them has a notch. The other two don't. So is there a chance? Yeah, there's a chance, but we'll have to wait and see which one they end up picking. They pick again by the end of November and then they start producing in December some of the parts before they launch in February. Um, whenever I turn off my Bluetooth audio drops but bluetooth is still on i have the lg v35 whenever i turn off my off wi-fi my bluetooth audio drops bluetooth is still on huh not sure chronos check out your uh scanning that might i don't know if that has something to do with it it might uh it might just be a glitch that lg has uh but go to location and then hit the three dots and go to scanning and uh, see your Bluetooth and Wi-Fi scanning, maybe turn Bluetooth uh, scanning um, off and see if that has any change to it. Um, Note 9 or V40? Too early to tell, I'll tell you in two weeks. Uh, what Samsung phone do you think is more successful, the S10 or the Galaxy F? Oh, easily the S10 will be more successful. The Galaxy F is gonna be too overpriced for most people to buy. Let's just be honest. It, no, it's not going to sell more than a million versions of that phone. There's, it's just no, not going to happen. The S10 will outsell it by far. We Samsung Knights look forward to the uh, Galaxy Note Fold. That's a really cool name. Uh, I'm new to the channel. Uh, just looking for info. Gl glad you're here. Um, S10 has... Two proto. Whoa, a whole bunch of questions just loaded. Everyone drink. Um, let's see. Ah, S10 has two prototypes uh, with a headphone jack, one without. Uh, they are debating on the final product. But look at us having the same info. Um,. What Star Trek Discovery will be on DVD? I don't know if it'll be on DVD. I'm not sure about that, to be honest. Um, hey, Ricky, White Stone Dome Glass for the Note 9 compatible uh, with Defender Otterbox? Yes, I actually had it on my Note. If you actually look at, we, we reviewed the Note 9 Defender box and the glass screen protector that was on it when I put it on was the White Dome Stone Glass. So yes, it does. Um, sorry about the Dodgers, Ricky. I'm, I'm, Okay, I'm gonna say a very unpopular thing if you're if you're an LA team fan. I'm actually an Angels fan. Always have been an Angels fan. Might have been when I was a kid. I saw Angels in the outfield and it got me hooked on Angels. I don't know. I mean I saw I had Angels in the outfield and I had Mighty Ducks. Guess who I was a fan of? I was a fanboy of Anaheim. Uh but yeah, I never lived in Anaheim. Uh but yeah, so always was a fan of the Angels more so and uh, I, I, I will always root for any LA team just because, you know, I'm proud of LA. Uh, but yeah, I, I, Dodgers, after they messed up the other games, it was just like, not probably going to happen. Uh, my mom is probably really sad though. She's a big Dodgers fan. Uh, yeah, I'm a movie lover. I like the idea, but that's only for people who have their own movie theater. Yeah, basically. 
one day I want my own movie theater. <laughs> like, not, not uh, but just, like, I would love, like, I see these YouTubers that make so much more money, right? That, like, you know, um, that have, like, legit, like, home theater areas. Like, uh, your average consumer just had a really cool home theater showing of his. And I was just like, man, what I could do with a setup like that, like, to have that kind of money to drop down and all that kind of stuff, it would be great. Um... Streaming live movies that are coming, like watching WWE uh, pay-per-view events, uh, though instead of being a hermit, go out in public. Yeah. Um, subscription services are getting to... Um, dil... Dil... What? Dil... dil, dil, dil Sorry, I'm not familiar with that. Um, especially music... Too many things to pay for. Yes, there are too many things to pay for. And that's why I think that certain streaming services will fail in the next two years. Because people are not going to go for them. I don't think people are going to go for DC All Access. I think Warner Brothers is going to have to have their own streaming service that includes DC. Uh, I don't think DC itself will make it, for instance. That's one I think will fail. Another one I think will fail will be something like CBS. Uh, I, like I, There are certain streaming services that, I'm sorry, you just don't have a good enough content to do it. Um, not to mention Hulu is in danger now because of Disney and Fox will be the majority stakeholder of Hulu, but Disney is going to have their own streaming service. So what's going to happen to Hulu? Um, why will the, uh, S10 have low battery than the Note 9? Because the regular S10 is going to be smaller than the Note 9. That's, that's pretty, pretty self-explanatory. Uh, the S10 Plus might have the same 4,000 milliamp battery, but then the Note 10 could have a, you know, 4,200, 4,300 milliamp battery. Uh, so yeah. What will the Disney stream service be called? There is not an official name for it as far as I know. They had like a, a standby name for it, but I forgot what that was, but they, they have said they have not finalized the name for the streaming service, but it's gonna get like a Star Wars live action show it's going to get Lady and the Tramp live action. Those are the two big ones that I know that they've announced for it. Um, but yeah, they're gonna get they're gonna get like their own things exclusive to the streaming service. There will be there will be four versions of the S10. Four versions. So the three, the mini, the regular, the uh, and the plus plus the five G. Those are the four. Do you think 5G will improve streaming movies so they don't lag sometimes? 5G, I really will do a video on 5G because I've talked to people recently and they were surprised by how limited 5G is. Like, 5G is not going to mean anything in 2019. It really isn't. Because there is so much work that needs to be done for 5G. So I'm gonna do a video on this uh, more so, but there really is a thing with 5G that people don't understand, and that is, if there's a 5G tower, right? Um, let's just let's just get this box right here. So, 5G tower over here. I'm on my phone right here. This would block the 5G tower. This thick. 5G, unfortunately, cannot go through anything. So, what you have to do is you have to have 5G everywhere. Like, the amount of cell phone towers that we have right now will be one-tenth of what we end up needing to have for 5G. Uh, on the meantime, uh, mobile carriers are just going to call higher-end 4G LTE 5G. Kind of like how Sprint... Uh, T-Mobile and AT&T called HSPA Plus and I forgot what Sprint's version of it was. Why Wemo or some, 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 I forgot what the name of it was, but HSPA Plus was Sprint and AT&T's version, or sorry, uh, AT&T and T-Mobile's version. HSPA Plus was faster than regular 3G, but it wasn't LTE. When Verizon came out with LTE, that was a huge leap. So you, you're going to have gigabit speeds eventually, um, but you're really gonna have more speeds of like 500 
to 800 megabits per second in the future of 4G, but they're gonna call it 5G. So that is what's going to come first and then will be like legit 5G coming later. Um, I need to know what kind of case uh, and a protector for, sorry, uh, my little baby is pushing buttons, hello, <laughs> I live in Canada. Oh, what kind of case? Uh, we have a lot of case videos uh, for the Note 9, so check out the Note 9 uh, case videos. I think we have about three or four case videos of like five plus cases for each video. Uh, the one I currently have is the Rinky Fusion X. Um, I switch between this one, I have a spec one, and I have, um, what is the other brand? I had like three different ones that I rotate between, but those are the ones that I like the most right now. Uh, Chad, they are revamping the Galaxy Buds and Icons. Nice, good. When are we getting it? CES or MWC, if you know. Um, will Daredevil uh, going to have its own video game? Uh, I do not think that's going to be the next one after Spider-Man. Spider-Man will get a sequel and probably, you'd have to imagine the next one they're gonna go with is Iron Man, but we'll have to wait and see. Um, hello, how much did I miss? Thanks, a lot. <laughs> um, did you watch WWE Evolution? Yes, I did. Um, I I predicted them all right, except for the Battle Royal. Nia Jax did not need to win. She did not need to win. It should have been Ember Moon um, or Asuka. Um, and yeah, uh, other than that, everything was predictable, except for the NXT thing. I guess she's going to start a new faction, Shayna Baszler. But uh, yeah, uh, watch it. Everything else that's, I think, predictable. Um, this could have been so much better. That's all I have to say about Evolution. Could have been so much better than the house show that it was. Um, what are you doing for Halloween? Um, I, I have to say it kind of quietly, so I'll get a little bit closer to the mic. Um, but we are going to take um, our daughter to the mall to do trick-or-treating. And then we are going to see a 4D version of The Nightmare Before Christmas. So that will be a lot of fun. She's going to love it. She's never done anything like it, so she'll love it. Whoa, a whole bunch of questions just flooded. Everyone drink. I will start uh, firing questions quicker because we are wrapping up soon. Uh, green, sick guy, hope everything uh, is good, safe, have a fun day. Thank you, appreciate that, Quiet Storm. Um, Vivo X uh, I Plus, I do not have time to look, uh, look at it, unfortunately, but yeah. Um, any updates for Android Pie, like phones are getting it? Uh, no, most phones won't get it till the end of this year, more likely beginning of next year. Um, Icon X 2018 edition, uh, they are being discontinued. Um, can't Best Buy get great earbuds canceling, uh, isn't working, so uh, use them in the car. Uh, my favorite earbuds by far, inner earbuds, is uh, the uh, Jabra 65T Actives. Um, the 65T were great too, but the Actives just improved the little tweaks that I wanted. And those are the best earbuds that I've tested uh, over Bose, over everything that I've tested. Those are the best of true wireless headphones. Um, is the Galaxy Foldable uh, phone being released next month? No, it's not being released next month. It might be shown next month is a rumor. Uh, do you think Samsung will sell uh, their UPS technology to other companies like Apple and Google? I think they will come up with their own versions under uh, the under under screen technology, I think will come in different variants. Uh, just like fingerprint technology, those, those were all different technically. Uh, no one um, licensed them. When you go to Best Buy, if you see a TV box open, that means it's broken or on sale. Uh, so open box means it was purchased and returned within 14 days. Never really bad in my opinion, I have had uh, a lot of success with open boxes. I used to work at Best Buy and Circuit City when I was going through high school and college. So I definitely got a lot of open boxes because you just got discount off it. It was like, oh, this thousand dollar laptop. Hey, you get it for 600. Of course, if you could knew, knew the people, you'd get more of a discount. Uh, you'd have to get the protection plan. Uh, but yeah, just know if it's an open box, whatever price is on there is negotiable especially if you plan on getting the protection plan as well. So if you get a, a TV and it's a thousand dollar TV and the open box version of it is $850, 
you can tell them, hey, can I get this TV for $750 and I'll get the two year uh, uh, service plan for it? They'll probably go for it. Work the system. Um, I'm hearing the iPad's price is through the roof. I would expect the iPad's price to be higher, but we'll have to wait and see. They have surprised us before. Um, I think he misunderstood. I meant the... I'll have to check out the, I have not played around with blue phones. I, I just, I don't know enough about them. How much money did you make from YouTube as of now? Total? Um, I don't know total. Uh, I vary between, uh, it really depends, but I would vary between, you know, like, probably between 3,000 and 6,000 a month, depending on the views, uh, watch time, everything. Uh, but yeah, that's how much money I would make typically. But it really does depend. And the channel's grown a lot over the past year. So, I mean, if it keeps growing, uh, yeah. Like, if if I could get, you know, I said 3,000 to 6,000, right? If I could make like 6,000 every month, I would be pretty good. So, yeah. It depends on, again, the given month, though, because like January and February are like dead. Um, until March when the Samsung phone comes out, then it peaks again. So, yeah. What are your thoughts on the Razer phone 2? I loved the phone, the way it looked, the way it felt. Uh, unfortunately, we're, I don't know if we're getting it. Uh, Razer did the whole thing where you're on the list and everyone else is doing their reviews by now. So we'll see. Uh, what do you think of 4K AMOLED panels will be available? I think you might see some next year, but I don't think it's a priority for manufacturers. And it's not because of the fact that you just, you need to have more uh, battery life before you put a 4K display out there. Stepped up in graphics, the new iPads I'm hearing. Oh yeah, it's gonna be upgrading graphics for sure. Um, your take on the Xiaomi Mi Mix 3, I think it's great, but I'm, I'm really waiting to see the international version and, um, and see if it's really worth it right now. There are just so many phones out right now that it's hard to keep up with all of them, even for myself. Um, yeah, it's just, it's, it's, it's a lot dealing with right now, for sure. The first run of Samsung Fold, only 100,000 expected. Uh, it's a glass display production issue. Yes, I can imagine. Um, S10 5G version will be available in January. I do not believe that. I do not believe the S10 will be available in January. At best, I think that it would be announced. Um, yeah, Ron, more like uh, March 2019, Verizon in talks with Samsung to be the exclusive use of 5G uh, launch partner uh, for a few weeks. Um, wow. So you're saying that it could be that the S10 um, the S10 could have exclusivity for the 5G version with Verizon for about six to eight weeks. That would be impressive. What do you think of the Titans, by the way? I don't know what you mean by the Titans. Oh, 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 the Titans for DC Universe. Uh, I think the trailers look really horrible and I would never watch it. Uh, can the Whitestone Dome glass be removed uh, if you have uh, two for some reason? Yeah, they have a video on how to remove it. I have not needed to remove mine. I've honestly just always traded in my smartphone, so never needed to. So yeah, I, I, I haven't, but I know they have a video on it. It was WiMAX 3.5G, not LTE. Yeah, yeah, it was, again, they called it 4G. Sprint was the first one with 4G, but it was really what we found out later to be 3.5G. Uh, WiMAX, that was it. Um... Heard rumors of graphene batteries on the S10. No, it will not. The graphene batteries are too too far but to be on the S10. I'm late. What did I miss? A lot. Uh, DJ, no, the S10 will not have graphene battery yet. Uh, don't forget to hit the like button. Uh, check out uh, Ricky's new app. Well, since one of my viewers, Quiet Storm, plugged it, I guess I will let you guys know. 
Of course, we do have our app that really helps us out. If you download it, share it with any friends. Uh, if you are in a relationship or not in a relationship, it's called 50 First Date Questions. It's a really great, fun game night game to play with your significant other, or it is a really good game to play with your uh, first date. Uh, basically a very simple game, had ad support, really appreciate clicking the ad. Uh, yeah, but it helps support the channel, it helps fund uh, things for it. So yeah, if you haven't downloaded it yet, 50 First Date Questions, it's in the description. It's very simple, you just swipe, ask a question, then player two swipes and ask another one. Pretty simple. All right. That's enough of my plug. All right, um, what is a NFC sticker? An NFC sticker is something you can put, say like, I could put an NFC sticker on my wallet. Say if I just put it right there. And then if a person asks like, oh, can I get your business card? Oh, here, let me see your phone. Boom, you now have my contact information. Just that simple. Unfortunately, that does not work on something like, say an iPhone. iPhones are about to open up their NFC information, but it's really not there yet. The support isn't there for it yet, but for Android users, I've been doing that for years. Uh, not to mention that you can also do it on your desk. Say if I have an NFC sticker on my desk, I can tap that NFC sticker and use an app to basically do multiple things. So when I tap that NFC sticker, uh, my phone goes off of vibrate and on sound and it turns on Wi-Fi. And then I can have one in my car that turns off, well, that I tap it and it turns off Wi-Fi. It puts my phone on vibrate and it, you know, turns on Bluetooth. These are automatic things that you can do be with NFC stickers. Uh, I did a video on one a long time ago. You can't see it, but uh, it probably looks horrible. Um, can we donate to the channel? Uh, super chats are pretty much the only way to currently donate to the channel right now. Um, we did have a Patreon, but we were giving away stuff and Patreon was like, no, don't give away stuff. So I am currently figuring out a new way because I have had, you know, thank you guys so much, people that want to donate to the channel. So I'm really trying to figure out how to do that. Uh, currently right now, super chat donations are always appreciated. Uh, and also if, yeah, if you uh, download the app, if you click like, if you share the video, these things all really help. I mean, the more views I get per video really is what helps the channel more than anything else. And watch that. If you just want to click a video on your computer, mute the tab, leave it playing in the background of a long playlist. I love you. <laughs> I don't know. Um, will the Honor 8X Max go stateside? The word was yes, it would go stateside, but we do not know when. Um, did you know there is a plastic film on the complete edge of the Note 9? Mine slightly peeled, uh, should I remove it? I mean, there is a plastic film that comes with your phone, but it should be different. Oh, well, uh, Cornelius uh, B, thank you for the $5 super chat. I really appreciate it. Honestly, I'm always surprised when you guys super chat, so thank you for that, I really appreciate it. Um, my final question, why do people hate the edge screens? I think people think it breaks more easily or that they, you know, had one of the first edge displays which were uncomfortable compared to the current edge displays. I think the current edge displays are really good for the grip as the new ones uh, are much better than the old ones were. Um, my final question, oh yeah. Uh, when is your review for the Galaxy Watch coming out? Uh, do you know uh, if the watch uh, comes in all black? The larger one comes in the black and silver that I'm currently wearing. The 42 millimeter does come in all black. So that is the uh, difference of how to do it. Um, did you get the camera update for the Note 9? Are you going to review it? I did not get the camera update for the Note 9 yet. I will definitely point that out once I do get it to show the before and after and kind of see if there is real big difference. Um, Oh, when will, the, when will the Galaxy Watch uh, video come out too? It should come out this week. It's already been recorded now over the weekend. A lot of recordings. Um, how do you super chat? I do not know, actually. <laughs> um, uh, why is the Pixel phone released just a number of countries missing in Norway? I'm not sure. I, I'm guessing Google will roll it out slowly. Uh, have you seen what the Galaxy F looks like? I saw a prototype earlier this year. I'm talking about early Q1 of 2018 and all the schematics that I now see are different from that one. So I think it will be different. Um, uh, 
Uh, Adrian, New Egg has a 46 millimeter uh, Galaxy Watch for 2.99 until Tuesday. That's a really good deal. But it's silver. Yes, it only comes in that color. Uh, 42 millimeter all black and seven dollars off Costco Black Friday. Is Costco Black Friday already out? Wow, are the Black Friday deals already freaking leaking? That's crazy. Um, hit the dollar sign on the side of the chat bar. Oh, th thank you, Quiet Storm, for the help. All right, guys, I think we will call that a show. Uh, went a little bit over an hour today. Really appreciate that. Shut up, Google. Um, uh, but yeah, really appreciate it overall. Thank you guys always for watching. Uh, lots of content coming out this week. And yes, I will be, we will not be doing a live stream because I do need to work tomorrow morning. So I will not be able to do a live stream of the OnePlus 6T announcement. Kind of sucks, I know. I really was looking forward to it. Uh, but I will see about doing one for the iPad. I will see about that one. I might be able to swing that. We'll have to wait and see. Depending on what time it is. Is it at 8 a.m.? We'll have to wait and see. All right, guys. Thank you so much for your time. Thank you for watching. Make sure to give a like, thumbs up before you do head out. Share your favorite video with everyone on your social media. Thank you as always for watching. This has been R-I-C-K-Y, the YouTube tech guy. Thank you for watching our video. If you liked it, why don't you go ahead and subscribe up there. Make sure you follow us on social media right here. And of course, check out our latest video up there. And right down here, you're gonna find the perfect video for you. Or at least that's what YouTube tells me. Thanks again.